known as the father of psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud claimed his father molested all of his siblings. Freud was a cocaine addict, as well as a pedophile advocate who taught that children sexually lusted after their parents and that children who reported sexual abuse by adults had either imagined or fantasized the experience. He believed that women were the problem with society and all their problems stemmed from not having a people. Freud's grandson, Sir Clement Freud, has been accused of molesting multiple young girls and was suspected in the disappearance of Madeleine McCann. Sigmund Freud's sister, Anna Freud, whom Freud claimed was regularly molested and abused by their perverted father, gave birth to Freud's nephew, Edward Bernays, the father of propaganda. Bernays took his family's work in psychology and used it to help governments and corporations manipulate the minds of the public. Hired by the American Tobacco Company, Bernays manipulated women into buying more cigarettes by convincing them that smoking was a form of feminist liberation. During this propaganda campaign, he dubbed cigarettes torches of freedom. Thanks to Bernays and his family's twisted legacy, social engineering became big business. Modern psychology was used to exploit mankind's mental weaknesses, nurture the public's lower desires, and turn people into mindless consumers. Is it any surprise then that the great nephew of Edward Bernays is none other than Mark Bernays Randolph, the co-founder and original CEO of Netflix? Does anyone really think this is a coincidence? Netflix has not only replaced network television as the premier home of pop culture, it is also continuing the degenerate, depraved social engineering of the Bernays Freud legacy. In 13 Reasons Why, Netflix was accused of romanticizing suicide during a recent increase of teenage suicides. In The Devil Next Door, they were accused of rewriting history to deceive viewers into believing that Poland was responsible for establishing Nazi death camps. In The First Temptation of Christ, Jesus Christ is depicted as a homosexual. And a Texas grand jury indicted Netflix for depicting child sex in the movie Cuties. Netflix and chill, the new preferred method for brainwashing the masses. Brought to you by one of the most depraved, degenerate families of the modern era. Turn it off and wake up.